Namo Buddhaya. Dear meritorious devotees and my dear children, throughout the day, we think thousands and millions of thoughts. So among these thoughts, most of them are negative and only few among them are called positive. So that is the nature of our mind that it is always tends to the negative side, to the dark side. So throughout the day, in sometimes, in most of the times, negative thoughts may pop up in our mind. Our great teacher Supreme Buddha taught us that we should eliminate these negative thoughts. The thoughts that makes us distracted and the thoughts that disrupt our inner peace, these thoughts should be eliminated. So, today we are going to learn and talk about few steps that we can do or practice in our practical life to eliminate these negative thoughts. First of all, let's learn and know what are the negative thoughts. Supreme Buddha taught us the negative thoughts are, the evil thoughts are the thoughts of anger, hatred, resentment, delusion, lust and desire. So these thoughts ruin our inner peace. These thoughts disrupt our inner peace. So our great teacher Supreme Buddha taught us some ways to practice in our practical life to eliminate these negative thoughts. Supreme Buddha taught as the first step when a negative thought pop up in your mind. Now suppose the anger popped up in your mind. So what we can do? As the first step, Supreme Buddha taught, you should shift that negative thought to something positive. Now for an example, if you got angry with someone, what you can do is, you can shift that thought of anger to thought of loving kindness. So that is what we call the opposite thought of anger. So if your mind is in evil side, right? if you are angry, if you have the resentment in your mind, if you have the jealousy in your mind, you can do the opposite thing of that. To do that, you will have to have uh, the consciousness and mindfulness in your mind because we have to detect what the thought is. So Supreme Buddha taught, you can shift your mind from unwholesome thoughts to wholesome thoughts. When you are shifting those thoughts from evil side to the wholesome side, Supreme Buddha taught, those evil thoughts, distracting thoughts, and the thoughts of anger, resentment, and ill will may constantly, with the time, they may fade away. So as the first step, what you have to do, you can shift, you can give your attention from evil side to the wholesome side of your mind. Now you have to remember, in your mind, there, is, there will always prevail evil as well as the wholesome. The problem with us is, we are giving a big attention to this evil side. So as a practice, as a habit, make a practice of contemplating and giving attention to the wholesome things in your mind. Then, with the time, those evil thoughts may fade away. So that is the first step. As the second step, Supreme Buddha taught us, if these evil thoughts did not fade away by just shifting your attention from evil to the wholesome, so as the second step, Supreme Buddha taught us, always examine the danger of that 
Now you have to know that evil thoughts are dangerous and they are harmful for our mind. Now normally when we are eating food, we have big concern to clean them up. Right? When you take vegetables, you wash them and you cook them properly and you eat. Because you know and you have a big concern in your mind that if I eat something bad, if I eat something corrupted, I will get a stomachache. I will get into a problem with health problem. So we have a big attention about what we eat, what we put from our mouth to our stomach. But we don't give a big attention to what we put into our mind through our eyes and ears and our sixth sense basis. So Supreme Buddha told that you should give a big attention to what you are thinking. Whether it is dangerous or with, whether it is beneficial for your life. So Supreme Buddha taught that you have to examine the dangerous side of these evil thoughts. When you are examining these things, then you get afraid of thinking these evil thoughts. Now suppose, whenever you get angry, if you can think, oh this anger is not good for me, if I died when I am in anger, I will never get a good rebirth. Supreme Buddha explained us, if you died in anger, you will never have a good rebirth. So Supreme Buddha told that you should examine this danger. Always remember the evil thought, thought of, thoughts of anger, resentment, jealous, lust, hatred, all these evil thoughts are harmful for our mind. Now, stomach ache, when you eat something corrupted, when you eat something rotten, it can be cured by just taking medicines. But if you, if you put something into your mind that is corrupted, that corrupted mind cannot be cured easily. So examine the dangerous side. That is the second step that we can do. As the third step, Supreme Buddha advised us, there are some powerful evil thoughts that may not fade away by just examining the dangerous side of these thoughts. So what you have to do? As the third step, Supreme Buddha taught, just ignore them. Do not, do not give a big attention to those thoughts. If we let the thoughts to be thoughts, then by the time that thoughts may, that evil thoughts may fade away. So what we have to do, when an evil thought comes into your mind, just ignore it. Don't let it control yourself. Now, the problem with us is, when an evil thought pops up in your mind, we act upon them, we speak upon them. So if you, get, if you got angry with someone, if you got jealous on someone, never do anything and never say anything. Let your evil thought to be a thought and it will fade away with the time. That is the third step that we can do, just to ignore it. We should not give a big attention to that evil thought. Okay? Then, here comes the fourth step. Supreme Buddha taught. There are some powerful evil thoughts that may not fade away by even ignoring it. They may not fade away. Then Supreme Buddha advised us. If those evil thoughts are not fading away, just ex examine how that evil thought formed up in your mind. Right? So, if you got jealous in your mind, if the jealous pops up in your mind, so what you have to think? You have to think how these thoughts are forming in our mind, in my mind. Then you will realize 
that I have seen someone success, someone is living happily, and I got jealous on that person. Then you know that how your thoughts are forming. When you are thinking about the formation of your thoughts, you are drifting your mind from evil thoughts to the wholesome side. You are shifting your mind. You are not giving a big attention to the evil side. So constantly you will forget those evil thoughts and they may fade away. That is the fourth step that we can do. Here comes the fifth step and this, this is the final thing that we can do. Supreme Buddha advised, if these evil thoughts are not fading away by examining how these thoughts are form, formed up in your mind, Supreme Buddha said, said, take a big effort to your body, take a big effort to your, to your mind and threaten your mind that I am not going to act upon this these thoughts. I'm not going to do, do these things. I'm not going to say these words from my mouth. Because if we did something when our mind is in evil side, if we did something from our body, all those physical actions are evil. If we say something from our mouth when our mind is in evil side, all those words are evil. So you can threaten your mind that I'm not going to say anything, I'm not going to do anything, I'm not going to act upon my evil thoughts. You can crush your mind by your mind. You can crush those evil thoughts by your mind. So Supreme Buddha said, that is the final protocol that we can do. If you constantly practice these five steps, then you will have the opportunity to develop wholesome thoughts, develop wholesome qualities within your mind because that will make a habit. Now normally we have made a habit of practicing and thinking evil thoughts. So if you are shifting your evil thoughts to the wholesome thoughts, then that will make a habit of wholesome thoughts. And finally, one day you will have, you will feel that you are thinking only wholesome thoughts throughout the day. So I wish you all by practicing these five advices that was given by our great teacher Supreme Buddha. May all of you have the opportunity to develop wholesome practices and wholesome qualities and generate wholesome thoughts throughout the day. Namo Buddhaya Theravansaranaya. Thank you.